edition of The Latest in Luxury, actor Matthew McConaughey explains why he's on board to drive sales of the once iconic Lincoln car. A Hollywood hotel welcomes couples to live like Richard Gere and Julia Roberts in Pretty Woman. And the world of fine wine invites restaurants and bars to enter its prestigious wine list awards. Ford Motors has recruited Matthew McConaughey to help sell the luxury line of Lincoln cars behind the name of his movie, The Lincoln Lawyer. The car has experienced a 65% drop in sales since 1990, and Ford hopes the actor's involvement will help entice young strivers. McConaughey will star in unscripted ads for the new MKC Sport Utility, and says he will be able to be himself in the collaboration. I'm sure growing up in Texas has something to do with how much I like to drive. I made that drive from Hollywood to Austin 60 times, and I look forward to that two-day trip. When Lincoln came to me with the idea and the campaign, I liked what the message was about. Authentic is a word that kept coming up. I like the history. I like that it's American-made. Ford did not disclose the cost of the two-year endorsement deal, but the company has invested $1 billion into the makeover. We'll let you know if McConaughey or Mickey Heller have enough cool to turn her around. The Four Seasons Beverly Wilshire is also looking to revive an old legend. However, this one comes in a slightly different form. The hotel has launched a luxury weekend package that allows guests to recreate key moments from the movie Pretty Woman, which was filmed on site in 1990. 24 years later, couples can now relive the love story, well at least the duration of their visit anyway. The package includes a stay at the presidential suite where guests can don headphones in a bubble bath, just like Vivian Ward a personal shopping consultation at the luxury boutiques on Rodeo Drive, and an al fresco meal in the gardens of Greystone Mansion, inspired by the picnic scene in the movie. And in the evening, guests will receive professional styling in their suite before being ferried in their chauffeur-driven Rolls-Royce to either the Wallace Annenberg Center or the LA Opera. Your date does not come included. And speaking of dining, if you are a restaurant owner or sommelier, Registrations are now open to enter next year's World's Best Wine List Awards. This year, 4,000 restaurants were judged by industry experts and the very best awarded one, two or three stars. Savio Brousset, co-founder of 2850 Restaurant and winner of the prestigious Three Star Award, explains what he thinks makes a superior wine list. If you go to the you know, high level, you expect something different than a local brasserie from you know, around the corner. Uh, again, variety, different pricing, different countries, unless you specialize in Italian and so on, but otherwise then different region for them. Um, it has to be broad. You don't have to make it commercial in any sense, but it has to be broad to please you know, all of your customers on a daily basis. The Wine List Awards are open to anyone and entrants are invited to apply online on the World of Fine Wine website. For more news in fine dining, travel and hopefully Matthew McConaughey, join us next week on The Latest in Luxury.